Hi there, this is the Fakari Initiative and we are happy to have you with us today as we continue to explore more interesting topics in tech for education. We hope you've had a good time with us as you continue to explore various topics in this area. Uh, we've been looking at hardware, we've also looked at uh, various resources that educators, learners and parents can use. And we've also figured out that as a natural follow through to acquiring hardware, you will need to now configure your machine at the very basic level. So that's what we're hoping to help you do today. So we have a few software suggestions and uh, we're hoping at the end of it, you'll find yourself in a position to configure a machine for use at the least cost possible. So let's dig into this software that we'll be looking at today. So one of our first resources we'll be looking at is a browser. So if you're using a Windows 10, you definitely need another browser apart from Edge just as an alternative. So it's good to have more than one. And most people will prefer different browsers. So I would suggest Firefox and I'm just going to Google. Yes, on my search engine, Google. I just typed in a uh, Firefox offline installer and it's taken me to a page where I can download it. So it says uh, choose which Firefox browser to download in your language. And so my Windows is Windows 64 bit. All Windows nowadays is done to be 64 bit. Uh, I've also selected English, uh, British English. Uh, I'm going to download now. The browser I'm using is, is actually Google Chrome. Um, so you can see that I've chosen a place in my hard disk where it can download it too. And so that's what it's doing. It's downloaded it to my machine. And so at my own time, I can go and run the, the, the installer and install Firefox on my machine. And next thing I'm going to look for at is an antivirus because you need to secure your machine from viruses. So I recommend Avast because it's free and it's robust and it's free. I actually use that on my machine as, and yeah, so I look for the offline installer because a lot of times you may find that you may want to install it on machines that may not have uh, internet resources. So it's also good to get the only installer so you can be able to install it on as many machines as possible. So I just selected uh, antivirus free and uh, click on the download button, the download link to download from the, uh, from the, the offline installer. And so that's downloading as you can see. Yeah, so it's basically, Things you need to do just basically secure your machine and ensure your machine can run well and make sure you have uh, the basic softwares in place, maybe to do uh, documents. Now, this is an interesting software I have here. This is called CC Cleaner. CC Cleaner helps to keep your machine to optimize your machine and keep it running efficiently. Uh, it's a small piece of software that works quite well. It's been around for quite a long time. And so you can see what it says on their homepage. It gives you a bit of an idea of what, what you can do with it. So I'm downloading that as well. Uh, CC Cleaner at some point uh, had some malware uh injected into it but now that was sorted and uh, i use it it's a very good program to use just to be able to at least uh, free up resources clear files from junk uh, things that are in cache or would others make your machine slow or uh, fill up hard space unnecessarily so the next resource that we're going to look at right now now that i'm back on my home page is um an open source office suit uh then there are different kinds of this the initial initiative was called open office but now it has got two branches of forks as they're known so this is Office and Apache Open Office. You can use whichever you want because they have the base, same basic packages. And as you can see, as I scroll down the page, you scroll down their site, which is quite well designed. You can see various features. There's a brief description of what Libre Office does. So I, I personally recommend Libre Office. I've also done a tutorial about it when I was comparing uh, text editors. It's a very nice open uh, office suit. It's uh, the best thing about it. It's free. It doesn't really cost you anything. It's compatible with uh, Microsoft Office. And you can do quite a bit with it, so I'm just clicking on the download link. So I'm going to download it for Windows 64 bit. Some people may end up with older machines which are 32 bit, so that's why they give you the option for the 64 bit or 32 bit. So as you can see, it's downloading. Now, uh, so I'm, give, I'm indicating which should be saved on my hard disk. And that's about it. It's not really a very complicated procedure. Yeah, it, it works quite good. It works quite well. It's something that you can do fairly quickly. Next thing you need to do is to be able to read uh, PDFs. So I'm looking at uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader. I'm also going to look for an offline installer as well because, uh, like I said, it's better to have the entire setup so that in case you find yourself without access to the internet, you can still be able to install this software in your machine. Ask me for the same thing. So ask me to select an operating system and there's a list of them from the drop-down menu. So I'm using Windows 10. Just ask me to select a language and um, I select English UK. Yes, because I speak British English, and then after that, there's an offer for installing McAfee products. Uh, so because we do have a vast, I won't need to do that. So now I've clicked down the download button, and there we go. So it's downloading it, and it'll also ask me what to save it on the hard disk. As you can see, I've indicated the same folder where everything else is in downloads, and uh, so Chrome is downloading that. 
uh, delete that to my downloads folder. Yes, so uh, finally, you may need to watch videos or listen to music. And one of the best players for this is VLC Media Player. Again, it's free, but you can donate to the program. It's been around for a very long time. So the most current version is VLC 3.0.11 for Windows 64 bits. I'm also downloading that to my downloads folder. So I'll just click save. Yeah, so basically all these are resources that will help you be able to use your machine with ease. It will increase the functionality of your machine and they really won't cost you anything. So expensive. this is not something that's going to cost you. So I'm hoping that this brief video has been of use to you. Hope that you'll be able to make use of these resources and that they'll expand the functionality of your PC. Please tell us what other software that you might recommend that you find useful and we'll be glad to do a video about those as well. So as always, thank you for being with us. And we enjoy your company and we just want to wish you all the best. And as always, happy learning.